Hi everyone, happy Saturday. It's Be Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and I hope you're happy and well wherever you are. I'm going to do a breakdown of all 12 signs as a quick little um, message for you all, okay? I still have the monthly uh, readings to come for everybody, so that'll be coming in the next couple of days. But just for now, I just wanted to give us a sneak peek okay at the energy that's going on for each one of us so i have already um, shuffled uh, all of the cards that we need today and i'm going to start with aquarius now don't forget if you want a more in-depth reading healing or anything please contact divinemiracles.com or divinemiracles at gmail.com okay all right this is just for fun starting with aquarius and aquarius we have I'm going to get it nice and clear for you guys. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Okay, zooming in. All right, the King of Cups. I am using the Tarot of Dreams. Aquarius, the King of Cups energy is with you. And this is kind of like indicating a time for you to be really, really sure about your next movement, making sure that you're following your intuition and... Uh, also working on the heart space, making sure that you are cleansing and clearing, etc. There's some indication here of music being really helpful to you as well for Aquarius. Uh, making sure you always have sound around you or maybe practicing some sound healing also. I feel like there is emotion coming to the surface and you are going to be better off to allow it to come up and out as a way of healing rather than stuffing it back down <laughs> which is what we like to do um, <clears throat> and also that there's someone special that's coming forward to assist you this is somebody new this is somebody that is trustworthy on every level and very very connected spiritually as well okay so <clears throat> trust your instincts and move forward and listen to the advice um, from this new person that's coming forward for you. So this is Aquarius. Next is Gemini. Gemini, this is interesting because we have this king energy going on here. Okay. So the king of wands for Gemini is indicating your business uh, skills. And also, um, just a moment. I'll just turn this light on, that might help. There we go. <clears throat> business skills for Gemini. And also that it's time to, if, if business is not a thing for you, that it's time to really focus on your talents, okay? Gemini, you are multi-talented, many different ways. You have the ability to do absolutely anything you put your mind to. And now, you know, November, I guess, it's calling you to really, really focus on this as a pathway, as your own soul pathway uh, begins to open up. People who you meet now are going to be people that you can also rely on. Um, there's also like psychic ability opening up for you, Gemini. Um, try not to distrust or mistrust yourself all the time or second guess yourself. It's time to make a decision and move forward with it, okay? Wholeheartedly knowing that things are going to work out for the best. I also feel here uh, for Gemini that there's something that has been missing or someone that you have been missing, okay? And this may indicate that uh, that person or that item is going to be found again, okay? So you need to... Stay really positive with that energy. Awesome, Gemini. Color red is also important for you. And Libra, what's going on for you? Okay, <clears throat> the two of wands. So Libra, it looks like you have found uh, the course of action that you needed to take. Uh, you have unlocked something. Um, or you're just about to unlock something within yourself that is going to also be very freeing for you. Um, the energy with Libra is that you can be super happy in situations, but then really um, the emotions become a little bit too much sometimes also, and you can become quite emotional. 
but this is showing your creative energy is your best way forward it's very healing for you it's very healing for other people and you know you may not have much confidence in yourself creatively but it's time to let all that go it feels like for Libra uh, again a partnership could be um, on the cards a partnership with business um, sometimes this is a partnership with you know an actual person uh, as in a relationship but I'm feeling this is more of a creative partnership or that you're learning uh, from someone or you're teaching with others. Okay, and this may be part of your life path, but you're just about to unlock it, like what exactly what you need to do. So whatever you've been thinking about, whatever's been on your mind, it's time now to just move forward with it. Okay, it's a very lucky period for Libra. Awesome. Okay, so then we move into Capricorn. Ooh, and the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Okay. So for Capricorn, there could be some romantic dealings going on here. There could be a new person that's coming forward. The Ace of Cups is a bursting of emotion in your life, in the heart space. Um, someone coming forward to awaken that energy within you also. Um, I also feel we have the fish here and fish to me are very, very um, connected financially. So there's something financially or a windfall or something lucky that's about to happen for Capricorn with regards to your finances. Um, a change is in the air, a new beginning uh, with love and romance, a new beginning uh, with your finances as well. Also, uh, someone of an emotional nature having a very big impact on your life, okay? So pay attention, Capricorn, to the people that you're meeting, um, to people who are in your energy sphere, and uh, ask yourself, are these people bringing me joy or am I feeling fear from this energy, okay? Because you always want to be in joy. It's the highest vibration, and it leads to abundance on all levels. So beautiful energy for Capricorn. Definitely found the right path now for yourself. And the right people to move forward on this path as well. And uh, <clears throat> the feeling of love and romance is also in the air. Whether you're in a relationship or not. Okay. <clears throat> Capricorn. Now we have uh, Taurus, look at this, the Ten of Cups Taurus, so this is an amazing card for you, it's about time, the Ten of Cups is the card of ultimate happiness, you're free from a lot of restrictions, well you will be, <clears throat> okay, and it's really vital the way that you're talking about yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, the way that you're talking about yourself is really really positive <clears throat> oh excuse me um the energy that i like to to offer people is to say things like say for example you've had discomfort or something going on in your body you you say you change it around by saying i used to have this you know i used to have that i used to get headaches i used to have body aches etc um, so it's like an old sense of who you once were. So you can bring in the energy of uh, positive um, flow within your physical body. Okay. So something about the way in which you're speaking, <clears throat> the things that you're declaring in your life, just need to change to more happiness and positive. And I'm losing my voice with um, Taurus. So I'm <clears throat> excuse me so I'm really feeling like you have something that you need to say okay it's something that you've been holding back from saying uh, communication communication is key for you and see now that I've said that I'm clearing up all right so communication is key it's time for you to move into this new cycle the things that you're declaring about yourself are vital as well but you have the ten of cups you have the ultimate happiness here in your life connection with animals of course you can see the animals here a connection with animals 
and a connection with spirit also coming forward for you Taurus but really good luck around you also I feel this way for pretty much everybody that I've done readings for ultimate happiness and really really good luck so move forward Taurus <clears throat> okay now for Virgo now Virgo you may have had your defenses up you may be defending yourself against uh, issues that you've always had to defend yourself against. You know, like you always have to be strong in certain situations. You always have to hold your ground. You're always having to, you know, defend your beliefs or the situation that you're in or feel that you're in a defensive mode. And each one of us have a defensive system that we have tried to use to protect ourselves. you know. And sometimes that defensive system can be destructive to us as we are trying to move forward and break free. So whatever it is that you're still defending yourself about, it's unnecessary anymore, um, Virgo. It's time to just, just relax, you know, and let down those defenses. And, you know, people are going to say and do and think whatever they, they're going to do, you know. You can't please everybody, even though you do like to do that. You truly can't please everybody. And now is the time, like you have this uh, event coming up, apparently. I feel that energy. You have some kind of event coming up. And after that, it's time to really, really reevaluate the way you do things, um, the way that you uh, set yourself up and make sure that you're setting yourself into a position for success okay there's some kind of doubt within you at the moment uh, Virgo a worry or a fear and it's not worth hanging on to anymore okay let it go do some healing release and you will find that everything starts to turn around beautifully for you it's already on its way so it's just a matter of embracing it okay now we're moving on to Aries. Huh, Aries. <clears throat> okay, so don't forget your sun, uh, your moon and rising sign as well when you're checking out these cards. But Aries, here we go, shifting again. Okay, Aries is moving into a, a, a next, the next shift. And it's really, really amazing because you've been shifting very, very quickly lately. You're starting to realize that the way in which you've done things in the past, you know, um, the way in which you have felt about yourself has all been someone else's opinion. It's all been not true. You know, it's an unrealistic view of yourself and your life. It's been less than what you really are. And here we see you calmly just, you know what, turning away from it all. Aries, you have so much strength. You know, you are really, really in control um, with business and work and, you know, the, the practical things in life. You are super excelled, you know, at those things. But within yourself, I don't think people realize how you struggle with what other people see you as or what other people think of you. You, you really struggle with this. But it seems to me that you've shifted into a different reality now where you're realizing that it's not worth your time. You know, it's really not worth your time to worry about those things anymore. <clears throat> you're moving into a brand new and much easier cycle for yourself if you can get your mind around the fact that what other people think truly doesn't matter it doesn't define you unless you want it to okay it's time for you to move ahead some of you are traveling which is fantastic um, but just keep strong and keep moving uh, forward keep looking to the future and not behind you okay <clears throat> all right <clears throat> leo okay well Leo, you're moving into a completion phase as well. Some things for you have been up and down. 
um, in October, you know, up and down energy wise. Uh, lots of different things to be focusing on, but it feels like you may have the formula that you've been looking for. You may have actually conquered something personal for yourself. You're opening up your arms to truly receive. You know, you have the energy of um, wealth and abundance, travel, uh, success. If you're waiting for news about something, it's going to be good news. This is for Leo. You may be setting your sights onto your next uh, project and what you're going to bring out next. And it's going to also be very successful because you have learnt from the past. You know, you've learnt what works for you. And you've been feeling very confident in yourself as well. I feel like there's a package coming for some of you Leos. Something coming from overseas that you might be waiting for. There's something else here that needs to be said. For some of you Leos, you are going to rise, rise above into quite a well-known position, okay? And I think the feeling that I'm getting here is that you're completely ready for it now. You've got grounded energy, you're strong and, and secure, and you're setting your sights on the best for yourself and for those that you love. And this is really going to work for you. There's worldwide acclaim here for some of you. People are going to start to get to know you. Okay? So just keep going in the way that you're going. Something is completing. Cycle is completing. And you're moving on to the next more abundant phase. Leo. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Fantastic. The light is shining and you're moving forward very quickly. You've gathered your resources, you have gathered your strength, you're understanding uh, that you've been pulled in many different directions, but now you're just moving on a focused path. There is great change in family settings uh, for this energy. There's great change about the way in which you see your role in a family setting. How you've been treated in the past is going to also change. There's a light shining on the truth for Sagittarius. Please believe that justice is always going to be done, okay? There's a situation reg regarding family members, children, whatever it is for you, something where you feel like you're being uh, seen in the wrong light. It is very soon going to be seen in the right ways. The truth is going to come forward. And <clears throat> it has no, you know, deceit, etc. can only go for so long. So if someone has been deceiving you or deceiving your children or whatever it is, family related wise, it's all going to come out. Okay. So all you have to do is remain positive and vigilant and, you know, stand firm to what you're, you've been trying to do, what you've been trying to achieve and it's all going to come out. For those of you who don't have any family issues, you're moving forward with your career and you're going to be in the spotlight a little bit for November, but you're ready for it, okay? <clears throat> Something amazing is just about to occur for Sagittarius that changes the momentum of everything and brings you into a whole new experience for yourself, which is beautiful and positive. Okay, so this is really good for Sagittarius. You've really started getting it together and uh, you're not worrying about so many things. You're letting it all go and this is working in your favor. Um, okay, for Pisces, the Queen of Cups energy is there. Okay, Pisces, there's a loving situation for you. Um, the Queen of Cups energy is always very loving and kind um, and trustworthy as well. There is fish around and I've been seeing this today in the readings and that always indicates to me 
uh, financial abundance as well. Um, something that you've been planning on is going to take off. Um, you're feeling settled in your emotions. Uh, if you are in a relationship, then things are going to go to deeper levels in your relationship. There's good luck around you, Pisces. There is a need. If you're a female, then this would be your card, the water sign. <clears throat> and so you need to be able to rely on yourself and your intuition. And uh, whether you're a male or female, you know, the... The softness, the feminine side of you is coming forward, you know, not so, um, not over emotional, everything is balanced, okay, you've learnt a lot in these past uh, couple of years, you've learnt an awful lot, you've grown an awful lot, there's been a lot of change, sometimes you don't always rely on your instincts or your intuition and this is really calling you to do that, okay. The money that you need is going to be available as well, okay? Probably more than what you need. It's like, it's like um, financially everything is, is changing. It may be that you've been struggling for a long time, but you're going to manifest something that's amazing for you, which is going to spur you into action more and more and more as well. Really good luck around uh, Pisces. And you can trust those that you're going to be coming in contact with or those that are around you as well. Beautiful. Cancer. Oh, look at this. You have the three of cups with you as well. So Cancer, you move into this very exciting uh, celebratory stage. Um, there is beautiful energy around you for marriage and births and weddings and this kind of celebration there's something that you need to celebrate it's something that you may, may be meaning to do you know maybe something that you've been wanting to do for some time and now the time is right for you to do it November is going to be more about you having fun you going to events or doing things socially People coming together in your life as well, Cancer. There's things to celebrate. There's things that you've been working on that, um, you know, you really need to keep working with. You know, there's things that are making you feel happy in your life. You need to keep going with it. Try not to, um, if you have to cut somebody out of your life or, you know, you can't be connected to somebody anymore, Try not to be hateful about it or angry about it. Um, if you have to let somebody go, just let them go with love and light. You know, let the universe take care of that issue or that problem. Um, because that energy of um, real deep anger, it doesn't serve you and it doesn't certainly doesn't hurt them, you know. It's, it's hurting you more. But I feel here that the celebrations abound. Music, fun, activities, festivals, um, you know, enjoyment on the deepest levels uh, are here for you, Cancer. Just embrace life and embrace who you really are and let yourself have a great time. Okay, let your hair down. That is the energy for November surrounding you, letting your hair down, okay? Allowing yourself to enjoy everything that's coming for you in November, Cancer. And finally, Scorpio. Okay, the Knight of Wands energy is with you. So this is a very movable kind of a, a card as well. The Knight of Wands is a messenger, of course. But bringing news about movement maybe someone you know is moving house if it's not you maybe you're moving into a new house or a new area or a new wave of energy uh, maybe you're moving up in energies as well Scorpio because you have the energy of wanting to help heal everybody that you come across um, you want to help you know people to feel settled 
you're very naturally a medium you know you have this mediumship energy uh, within you and you know so you naturally got spirit energy drawn to you remember that you can be easily worn out by thinking on other people because even thinking about them sends energy out so you can be draining yourself without realizing it make sure that you're keeping your energy high okay um, that you're moving creatively as you move forward and you don't let people take advantage of your kindness okay um, that you're setting boundaries with your spiritual work as well okay make sure you do this because energy is leaking from you or has been and you haven't been feeling right within yourself. Also, if you're in a situation that is not working for you romantically, say for example, you can be three times as drained as the normal average person. Okay, so you can be dragging yourself around, you can be suffering from joint pain and stiffness and shoulder pain and back pain when you are in the wrong place for you energetically your whole body is going to drag itself around please remember that as you're moving forward scorpio this month you're going to be very much more aware of your energies and what's going and what's coming you know and uh, being sure that you're creating boundaries for yourself and your work okay Awesome, everybody. So thank you for listening. If you want something more in depth for yourself, check out my website. I have one hour recorded readings. I have uh, phone call readings and healing over the phone for two hours. And I have my healing courses and uh, you can do them in, in, part, in two parts or four parts now. So please check it out, divinemiracles.com. And until the next time, many blessings. Hope you enjoyed. Bye for now. Bye.